Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I know I've got a whole lot of things going on all at once, but I'm going to throw one more thing into the mix. This grease lightning does a really nice job on getting the pine tar off the blades. This is a tool steel blade, it's not a carbide blade, and it's not going to fit in there. So I'll have to come up with another way to do those. This is a hollow ground plywood blade. That would be an expensive blade to buy. This is a combination blade. And so is this. Master combination, Chrome King. Now all these blades are over here soaking to get the pine tar off of them. Let's go over and take a look at this chainsaw. I want to take the base off. The reason for that is this muffler is pretty well caked up. So before I go to all the trouble of getting this thing started and put back together again, I'm going to go ahead and remove this bottom plate and take off that muffler. These little dental picks come in big. These little dental picks come in real handy for cleaning out crap out of screws, especially these Torx screws. Hex heads too. Always like the hex head cap screws for getting a lot of torque into them if you got to take them out, but the Torx screws are pretty good. They're just a little bit weaker. They engage better, but the wrench itself, you can strip those spurs off of it and then you no longer have a wrench. Whereas a hex key, it takes a lot to pull the hex key to the point where it won't engage anymore. Yeah, let's see if we can get those screws out. Got a pretty much dead battery on this impact driver. Just glad those aren't Phillips head screws. Yeah, I got a pretty good amount of dirt in the bottom of that thing, don't I? Yep, 
Yeah. Spraying it with the brake cleaner got a lot of it off, but there's still much more on there. Never fail. Somebody has to put a metric bolt on there. I remembered an extra pan that I had. And this way I get to clean out the lathe pan at the same time that I do the saw blades. Stack them like this, they'll be separated just a little bit and let that stuff get in there and work on everything. And rather than just spritzing this stuff, I think I'm just going to pour it on. And I'll add a little water to fill it on up. There we go. Everything can soak overnight then. That'll get that pine tar off of there. And let's see what metric size this is. What do you think? 10? This is an 11. Yep, it's a 10. 10 seems to be the most common size and I bet I don't have a 10. There's a 10. Ah, son of a gun, we got it. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. Okay, now we let them sit for a while. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.